Hey, welcome back to the channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Just a quick video. Uh, in the news today, you would have heard that uh, Tesla is recalling just under half a million of Tesla Model 3s built in 2017 to 2021 that exhibit a concern with regards to the backup camera. The backup camera may fail to uh, display uh, the, the view. Uh, this could happen when, if uh, you're opening and closing your trunk quite a bit. What is being replaced and what the issue is, is the rear deck lid wiring harness. So I actually uh, replaced mine about a month ago, just under a month ago actually. So the part number that I had was the original from my 2018 Tesla Model 3 long range rear wheel drive uh, uh, vehicle. Part number P10687890E. It's the deck lid wiring harness. So I had problems uh, with my uh, backup camera. So what happens is in the morning, after a vehicle goes to sleep and wakes up, my backup camera will work. But after opening and closing my trunk once, maybe twice, if I uh, bring up uh, the backup camera in the car, It'll display a black image throughout the drive throughout the rest of the day no matter what I did you could reset the car you could power down the car uh, use a two button reset on the wheel the rest of the day forget about it. you're not gonna be able to see uh, any image on your backup camera however once the vehicle goes to sleep at night and when it oh, when it uh, turns back on the next day the backup camera appears again so what I actually did was I replaced my wiring harness and I cut it open. And if you see here, let me see, let me just try to get a better view. If you see right there, the big black wire in the middle, the wiring strand, that has uh, started fraying. And also, if you take a look, uh, my green wire here also broke off. The green wire here is for the actual uh, physical uh, trunk uh, opening uh, button. So my trunk wouldn't open at all. And then that got me thinking, Okay, that, that's weird. Maybe the wiring harness needs to be replaced. So I went ahead, went uh, to the Tesla service center, purchased the part. Here in Canada, where I live, it costs $95 plus tax. So the wiring harness isn't expensive per se. However, it's installing the part that's going to take. It'll take maybe an hour, an hour and a half, uh, depending on how, uh, how skilled you are in removing uh, the trim pieces. But in order to replace the, the wiring harness, you need to take out uh, the rear part of your seat, the top part where the anchor uh, is for baby seats. Um, you have to take off the side pillars, uh, the diagonal on the side pillars to reach the one plug, which is located next to one of the speakers there. So you have... The backup camera plug here you have this plug for uh, all your uh, signal lights your uh, trunk handle and then you have the ground and then the rest of the connectors are here in this bag it's not that hard uh, you, you can't really mess up everything is pretty much to uh, they, they measured it exactly so if you just follow the line uh, there's also uh, these little the rubber stoppers that you uh, plug in to the trunk and you just follow the whole guide and it's very easy to replace. It's just removing the trim pieces on the inside back passenger seats as well as the uh, side pillars that, that will take the, heart, the, the longest. So once again, I'll just show you the damage. So we have a broken green wire, which is the handle and the NH TSA, the safety recall is mainly for the backup camera. 
which you can see here is already fraying. And actually, hold on, I think some other cables are breaking too. Yeah, there's that other white wire that's breaking. So what is it? It's uh, the constant opening and closing that causes damage. So Tesla issued a recall for that, and uh, we'll see uh, how uh, how it affects your vehicle. They're gonna pretty much check and inspect the wiring harness, or you can go ahead, if you want, you can go ahead and purchase this and uh, do install. It's not too bad. Uh, maybe in hindsight, I should have done a video on how to do the, uh, the removing of all the trim pieces and uh, replacing this wiring harness, but it's not, not overly too bad all right thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe if you have any questions about the uh the wiring harness or uh some direction that you need go ahead and leave some comments down below and uh i'll try my best to reply to each and every one of you all right take care and we'll see you next time